Seasons don't fear the reaper. We can be like the AR. Hey, everybody. Welcome. Welcome, one and all. Okay. I was uh, unable to get done with this. Let me just quickly stow these somewhere. How are you all? Welcome, welcome. Everybody doing okay? You doing okay. All right. Okay. Now then, I've gotten a hold of some really interesting... I'll, uh, I'll deal with these things later. It doesn't matter. I've gotten a hold of some really nice concept art. So I intend to show it off. Hey, Jay's not cool. Hey, Rilani. Hey, Luca. Hey, Rosetti. Hey, Lucas. Hey, Poncho. Hey, Real. Oh, wait, I already said Ani. Chrono Trigger is tomorrow, yes. No uh, surprise, you know, uh, sudden meetings or any of that. Like, it, it's all good. Okay, um, actually, I probably don't need those items. I just need some sort of spare garbage item with which to, like, make sort of a skeleton, I guess. Uh, gray. No, I need light gray. So we'll use the pink and gray, because that stuff's worthless otherwise. I guess endstone brick. I don't intend to use that either. So I don't know. We should, uh, we should be good. Okay, what's been going on in everybody else's world? Calcite. Ooh, do I want to use this for something or no? I don't think I do. Ah, cobblestone. Cobblestone's a nice throwaway, useless block. Okay, yeah, that'll that'll do for the moment. Okay, so we got this nice open, broad area now with these uh, walls that stretch back and forth. I've got to make this wall a copy of this one, but uh, until I bother to do that, shouldn't matter. Shouldn't matter too badly. Okay, so I'll need. Something down in this direction. I need it to go from this upper lip here up to where this scaffold point here, and it's directly where my cursor is. There's going to be a little entrance way. Uh, actually, it's probably gone here. Oh, I almost threaded the needle. Damn it, that hurt. Okay, so now I'm going to make a um, uh, an in a uh, which we call it, sort of like a, a walkway from one part to the next. Go to uh, pre-calc teacher. Ah, okay. You're a freshman in pre-calc. It's hard. Oh, I know. Yeah, I uh, I feel bad for anybody in a math class. That shit sounds painful. I'm good, thanks. No math for me. Not much. Oh, okay. Well, not much happened today either. Finley. Glad to hear it, though. Usually, uh, days like that are, are, you know, the better kinds of days where not a whole lot goes on. And we just kind of, you know, we get along. Oh, and while I'm thinking about it, um, let me see if I can't put that one particular, these items that I found. They're really cool. Image. Um... Let me find them, see if it'll uh, recognize it. Unfortunately, they're in .webp format, and I don't know if anything can read that. Let me quickly find it. There we go. Okay, so it looks like it can see them. Um, I've got a lot here. I've got like seven or eight images. Um, funny enough, I remembered, there we go, it showed up. Offtopia, of all people just randomly messaged me like a month and a half ago and I forgot about it and he showed me this and he's like yeah this is AI generated um, let me just like get in there and just sort of give you a good sort of scan by of what it looks like because holy crap this thing blew my mind it's AI generated so it looks like garbage because there are little bits of things that don't connect up you know aspects of a building that you would otherwise not actually be able to make, but like angles that look weird, they don't really go off in the right direction, you know obviously this isn't a real thing you can tell it's made by an AI, but 
it really gets your noggin jogging, doesn't it? Tried to upload a video today, instantly got copyright claim. God damn, what did you try to upload? I'm sorry, it, it hit you. The copyright system. Copyright on YouTube is just such an abhorrent joke. So yeah, I'm uh, I'm gonna sort of look back on this and just go from there, you know? Um, so I'm looking to try to build a wall with lots of weird sort of organic mishmash shapes. I kind of want it to look, I want the building to look a little alien, you know? So that's the idea that I'm headed for. Um, but like, you can't really be sure how it's going to look in your head versus when it's in Minecraft. Um, I think the best thing to do is to get the uh, walkway lined up first. Because that's, that's something I want to I want to keep intact. Aha! Thread of the needle. Based. Okay. So it's going to go to like right here. And hopefully this matches up. We'll see. Come on. Here we go. Okay. Now it's not really like following the contour of this edge here. I'm wondering if maybe I should make it follow that pattern. Maybe then these two will match up. I don't know. We'll see. Actually good modern art. Yeah, that looks like wonderful. If you put that in a museum and you painted it by hand or something, you could probably pass that off as a, a piece of modernist art. And it wouldn't actually look like garbage. Because, I mean, I'm not a fan of the modern art style where you're, um, you're just sprinkling color everywhere. You don't really seem to have much of a uh, structure to anything. MS Paint? What about MS Paint? I'm not doing anything in MS Paint right now, Poncho. Sorry. You're just gonna have to wait for another day. Hey, climate changes. Yeah, it looks modern. I guess that's just how the AI works. I don't... I didn't actually ask uh, Offtopia what AI he used. He just said these are AI generated. And uh, he didn't go into any detail further than that. But I was like, holy crap, that looks amazing. And so I immediately saved all of them. Um, and it may be that he found them from somewhere else. He didn't prompt and generate them himself. He found some other outlet, and that's where... Oh, fuck, these aren't enough. Mad job. Whoa, long jump. Okay, hmm. Um. Yeah, these are not going to match up. So what I can do... Because I doubt... Well, actually, no. It should probably match up. Or rather, not match up. It, it should um have the same pattern on all four sides here. So if I alter this pathway, I can use this pathway as a base for all the other sides. Kind of like that. Okay. So it's skewed that way. Actually, I think... Let's go with two. Come on. Ooh, it's spitting out golems. I love seeing that. Hey, Amion. Uh, I know about people who could 3D print and paint that. Ah, cool. Okay. Well, that's pretty cool. I like seeing uh, good 3D printed uh, figurines. Like, I kind of have to laugh at people who have uh, anime figurines. Because, like, for now, yeah, those things are valuable because they're, like, unique. They come from a series, etc., etc. But, like, shit like that is going to be worth no more than the plastic it's printed from in, like, five to ten years. Because you're going to see, you know, you can just 3D print your own thing using a resin or some other plastic filament. And just go from there. Like, you're not going to... Obviously, you'd have to hand paint it yourself. But, like... You don't have to shell out the money. And I tell you, some of these anime figurines go for thousands of dollars. Depending on how rare they are, obviously. Not every single one is going to do that. Y you get the idea. Like, It feels like such a giant waste of money because it's like absurdly expensive for something that is like 
going to be super easy to procure in five to ten years time for just literally the price of the material made it made of it you know and those resin printers they they pay for themselves very quickly uh, especially if you are making some sort of merchandise out of it I'm wondering if we're gonna see some sort of printing revolution here in the next whoops, few years or not I don't know it may take longer than that but I still I'm wondering like how far off that is Made an AI generation that looks like a drunken Uncle Sam driving a tram in his unsafe manner. Okay. That's, uh, that's wild, but sure. Oh, fuck. I missed one. Uh, Warhammer 40k fans 3D print and paint their own figurines by hand. Yeah, but that's one niche um, topic. Or one niche fandom. Um, don't tell the Warhammer fans that they're niche. But, like... The anime figurine industry, first of all, is a full-blown industry. And second of all, yeah, like, that's on a different level. I keep waiting for the day where people go, oh shit, intellectual property, how dare you? And they start, like, dinging people for 3D printing stuff that they got offline. Or got online somewhere and then printed. And yeah, like, I, I keep expecting there to be a big push for like privacy privatization or like you can't just get a hold of a 3d model of some product and then print it as your own i hope that day never comes but i know it will uh especially after somebody 3d printed a gun and i think used it or something to that effect there's been a lot of scares with shit like that 3d printed rock is a geode you're an artist okay What more power to you, Rosie? Hopefully that rock pays off. Did you uh, set it on a, a flight of stairs and make it rock and roll? Get it? Because I'm funny. You only buy cheap three, third party and or counterfeit figurines. Ah, good. A man of true culture, Ami. I, I, I respect that hustle. Me, however, I'm a Giga Chad. I don't buy figurines or any of that garbage at all. Because what's the fucking point? Like, half of that stuff feels silly. Like, there's no value to it. No point. I genuinely do not understand why people want that crap. I need an anime figurine collection like I need a hole in my head. I just, I don't understand it. Like, yeah, there are some good shows and stuff out there, and I, I'm happy to find a good thing once in a while, but, like, I have no incentive or reason to decorate my room in that garbage or to pretend that it's just so awesome to have this, that, or the other of it. I, I don't know. I just don't get it. It's weird. Otherworldly. I've never been of the otaku mindset. Do I have a 3D printer? Not yet, Jay. I've been of the opinion that 3D printing is not good enough yet to want... I don't want to buy one yet. Um, I can't really, like, make use of it. Um, the the uh, 3D modeling skills, I don't have that. I don't have, like, anything in mind that I'm, like, really desperate to make. I could try to, like, make my own Space Falc something or another, but... I don't know. Okay. Um, I'm going to clean this up. I want to refine the shape of this. Get a little bit more. Oh, man. This is such a... Um, such a jank way to do it. Maybe if I had an upper perspective, that would help. Got Ender 3 Pro. Ah, okay. A resin figurine of Ellie? What? No, I don't think I could do that. Resin Ellie would be weird. Like, maybe if she passed away, I would want something to remember her by. But I don't know. Yeah, that's right. I'm talking about you. Wake up. How dare you sleep? I'm kidding. Go back to sleep. You're fine, Ellie. I messed with you and now you 
and he's gonna stare at her. I love you. She doesn't understand why I did that. Okay, this segment over here needs to be sheared off a little bit. It bulges out unsightly. Okay, um, you know, maybe a uh, line in MS Paint would be a decent way to, like, illustrate where this goes from, to and from. I don't know. Why make a resin Ellie when he has the real life thing there? Well, he probably means it more of a, as a, a memento. All right. I don't have a reason to do anything like that yet, so I'm not worried about it. But I suppose I could try to, at some point in the future, make a uh, model and then a uh, fully printed thing. I don't know. That's, that's a hobbyist type project, and I'm not a hobbyist. I don't have any of the garbage that those people own. Tools, the, the resin itself. Oh wait, I'm stupid. Oh my god, I have the pattern right here in this very corner. Like right here, I just need to follow this off skeleton. I just need to follow this. Literally, it's right here. Wow. That feeling when your brain expands and you suddenly realize your error. Okay. Oh, whoops. I don't know, I need that there. This here. Okay goes up and then over and then up and then over and so every so often it turns into one so yeah that's a much cleaner design I should have just followed that yeah and I can just look down and see it too oh oh, oh. yeah this is a good example of right here And then it goes over one. Okay. Yeah, that'll work. But anyway, yeah. Love to be a hobbyist, but too lazy even for the stuff I did. Well, the problem is being a hobbyist is a very expensive thing. Um, you need to have so much equipment. You need to be able to maintain that equipment. Buying all the prerequisite parts, you know, stuff of that nature. Like these, uh, these 3D printers are not cheap. They are... See, that's the thing. Like, I don't have any reason to sell stuff to people, you know? Like, yeah, I just... It would not make sense for me to do it. But that I could see someone else trying. Whoops. Uh... Time to see if this block is lined up or not. It is. Okay. Congratulations. I can follow a line from distance. Okay. Not bad. Yeah, I wish I had seen that pattern out there sooner. Silly brain, how dare you not activate? Uh, that feeling when your brain expands and you die. <laughs> oh god, yeah. Oh shit, that's a good point, actually. Uh, I, I'm so sorry, Rosie. Nah, I'm just kidding. There's nothing to be sorry about, I'm just messing with you. AI design? Maybe. Okay. Let's just use a good old watery shortcut. Oh, he didn't drop any gunpowder. Still need to make that gunpowder farm. Welcome back, honey. That feeling when your brain shrinks and you die. Oof. Yeah. Encephalitis and, um... Whatever the name of the shrinking version of encephalitis is. The opposite of encephalitis, I guess. Yeah, that would, uh, that would be a bad way to go. Two, two. 
how many sets of two from this one? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So ten sets of two. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Perfect. And then that's lined up with that. All right, cool. Um, I'm actually thinking I will expand it out one block this way instead of this way. I don't want it to, like, jut out too far. I kind of want this walkway to be supported, but also maybe hidden. Maybe you can't see it from in there. I don't know. We'll see what uh, what way the wind blows when I uh, get inspired. Okay, then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine sets of two. Two, three, four, five. Then this is six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, we're really, really, really close. And then after this one, it's just sets of two all the way. And then I'll go down and collect all my goodies. Perfect. And then two here. Um, yeah, this will have to be two so that it meets up. Yeah, the uh, previously established pattern was already good enough. I didn't need to make things overly complicated by doing stuff I didn't need to do. I, I've always got to remind myself to follow the KISS principle. Keep it simple, stupid. Because if not, I'll get stupid and do stuff I shouldn't. Hey, Matthias. Talking about the boxes protruding out of design, putting them on the wall, maybe customize them into rooms to put lights in them. Ooh, that's a good idea. Yeah, I could do something like that. Uh, you could, oh fuck. You can monetize it, but um, primary source of income, then it becomes a job. Yeah, that's true. Um, like the Space Valk 3 mug idea or goblet idea that I had, um, I wouldn't know because, like, I tried to uh, do a little preliminary searching out on the web. Where I would go to get a custom mug or a custom goblet of some kind made. Obviously, it would have to be made out of plastic or, or some sort of food safe something or another. So that you could drink out of it. Because what would be the point? Um, and, like, there were no websites that I could find where you'd be able to customize the shape of a goblet. Just what you put on it, like. Uh, words or some such like that. So, like, actually making a Space Valk 3 item like that, like what I want, may end up require requiring of me that I go and find, or better yet, just get my own uh, 3D printing kit of some kind and then just print up my own goblets. Because otherwise, I don't have an alternative. So, um, the Space Falk 3 mug is a really cool idea that I legitimately have no way to make real. I would love to, to do that. That shit would be dope as hell. It's just... I don't know. I don't know. I'm not really sure what I would do to, like, go about making that real. It's definitely, um, it's on the bucket list to figure out how to achieve. Okay, I don't want this walkway to be too large because this is just temporary. I'm probably going to replace it with something more detailed later. We'll see. Anyway, so yeah, there's... That would be an awesome merch type thing. Um, I don't want to have to just do t-shirts or badges or pins or anything of that nature. Obviously, maybe pins as like a side thing. 
but uh, predominantly, I would like it to be a functional item, like a mug, you know, a drink. Um, the barrel, sort of pillar column shape of the body of Space Falk 3 just sort of lends itself to that, you know? Okay, cool. All right, we got a uh, walkway here. Now then, to get from there to up here. So yeah, it's a bit of a, a bit of a problem to try and figure out how to get merch ideas made into reality just because it's it isn't that straightforward, you know? God, I wish it was, but it's just oh well. I buy YouTuber merch if it's good clothing. Yeah, but like, I don't want to do what everybody else does. Everybody does clothing of some kind. That's so milk toast and boring. I don't care. Pottery would be great, except for A, it's fragile. And B, good luck finding someone capable of making that. That would be a, a great and yet terrifying thing to try and make real. Um, like, there's this dude I watch occasionally. He's really, 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 really soothing. I absolutely love his stuff. Um, I forget what his name is off the top of my head. He makes mugs, teacups, plates. Um, he's, uh, I think he's Irish. And he's extremely, extremely soft-spoken. And all he does is just make ceramics. And he's amazing at it. But the problem is, just judging, just by watching his work, like, it's so time-consuming and extremely precise. I just don't think it would be within, you know, the realm of possibility to get something like that made. Space Talk 3, uh, a mug or a... Uh, something of that nature you know what i mean it just that very much is asking for the moon in my opinion and i would love to be able to do that but it just isn't as of right this minute it isn't viable okay um let me take a look at these bad boys okay So I'm thinking of let me let me put another one up on screen to uh, uh, this one here. It's fantastic. So I was thinking of going down here to where uh, you see these arches connect up. I'm thinking of maybe having some sort of like this underside here. These are almost like tentacles. You know, like tubes, I guess. Very weird. Maybe I should incorporate some tubes into this build. And then we got a sort of leaning tower of Pisa look over here. I might want to try incorporating some of that. We'll see. But yes, the uh, the bottom portion here is definitely... That's dope as hell. I, I kind of want to make that the bridge from there to there. Something like that. But anyway, yes, yeah, so merch... Like, merch is cool and all. I'm not above selling merch or anything. But it's gotta be just right. It's gotta be the right kind for me. Shit that I know I can both trust the quality of and that it will be unique enough to, like... It'll knock your socks off, you know? You will look at this and go, Holy crap, I need that in my life. And a goblet or a uh, mug of some kind themed like Space Valk 3, would that not just knock it out of the park? I think it would. Ooh. Hmm. Uh, let's make the arch just a little bit more squat. Okay. Ah, fuck. Jack the Ripper moment. Every time I fall, it's a Jack the Ripper moment. Okay, now how's that looking from a distance? Well, the interior at least? Yeah. 
Looking like the tower from Nier? Really? Um, I never played a Nier. I only ever watched a playthrough of Nier Automata. Um, I never really paid enough attention to any of the Nier stuff. I guess I never really cared to. Oh. Did not mean to jump off like that. Okay. So let's make this bad boy at an angle. Okay, and then I can just sort of join it up like that. There we go. Now, how's this looking? Oh, hey, Mike, how are you? that block down down a little or maybe bring that one down a level and then that one down a level to match I don't know we'll see I never bother to try and know him and never gave you any what now can you ask your best friend off topia what AI he used oh yeah 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 um you know what Pancho I can just ask Offtopia, what AI he used for those. Because they look amazing, don't they? Oh shit. Uh, I can't get under that. Here we go. Okay. So we got it going like this. Um, yeah, that's a uh, moderately. Or wait, hmm. what I could do is make this one go up. Even though I did struggle to put that down. Ah, fuck. Jack the Ripper moment number two. Yes, I see you. If I don't acknowledge your presence, Mr. Zombie, you're not real. You're like the uh, people in my head. If I don't listen or acknowledge, you're not real. Damn it, I can't... Um... Fuck it. The simplest method's often the best. What are my shaders, Lilbees? They are uh, complimentary shaders. Complimentary is by far one of the better shaders that I've run across. Um, oh, that's right. I did say, uh, when was that, Monday? That I wanted to try rethinking voxels. And I do. I definitely want to give that a shot. So let's, uh, let's see how that looks at night. Oopsie doozy, I killed you. Tee hee. Okay. Uh, let me get up here where I'm safe. Crap. Okay. Video settings. Okay. Rethinking voxels beta. See how uh, see how good this is. Uh, rethinking voxels. Let me uh, let me see if there's a better, more up to date version. Change log. January the 15th, this is just a few days ago. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna quickly download the latest version and see if it's worth it or not. Okay. Well, first and foremost, damn, that does look nice. This is rethinking voxels. I like the clouds, they're very fluffy. Clouds ought to be fluffy. I hate how Notch decided to make clouds way back when. Extremely flat and dense and boring. Clouds, in my opinion, should always be 
volumetric, fluffy, and like as a kid when I'd look up at the, the sky, I always wanted to just be some sort of like, I don't know, a bird or something. Something that could like live in the clouds. Also, I thought as a kid that clouds were solid. Now, obviously, I know they aren't, but... Like, that's the feeling that clouds should give. In my opinion. Okay. And... There. Good night. Okay. This isn't bad. No, no, rethinking voxels. Ah, this looks good. What, what do you mean, no rethinking voxels? What's so bad about rethinking your voxels, huh? Also, damn, that is bright. I don't know if it's because it's framed up against the side of a cloud or what. Okay, so when it comes into view, it gets this bluish glow. The sea lanterns do. How's my wall looking? How does Trump's wall appear? Nah, no, just kidding. It's not Trump's wall. You can make it two layers of clouds. Really? Clouds are solid? No, I thought as a kid they were, but I obviously know now they are not. They're just mist. Like, that's all clouds are. Is they're just very heavy mist at the very, very, very top of where uh, they can form in the atmosphere. That's it. But, uh, yeah. It's beautiful, I know. Thank you, little bees. And you can make ores glow. Okay. Almost looks like a RTX, but without the reflection. Wish clouds were real. Yeah, I kind of wish. I wouldn't mind. I wish cloud was a material. Some mod packs add clouds as a material, which you can actually stand on. It was so weird. It sort of behaves like wool. Um, but I think that mod has long since been discontinued. Oh my god, these... These walkways just get absolutely bathed in the end rod light. It's like I'm walking out of the parking lot at night of Walmart. I kind of like it, actually. Reminds me of a dark, dank area that is just... flooded in artificial lighting. My circadian rhythm is being uh, thrown off, its, hint off uh, its norm as we speak. How's it looking up here? Meow. I gotta say, the entity hitboxes are weird. They don't glow like they should. Oh, whoops. You get to sleep with me, Ellie. Yeah. Oh, the cat's purring. Oh, that's so cool. I didn't know they purred. I wish you could, like, give them something to make them purr on command. That would be awesome. Uh, there it is. I was like, where'd I put my rabbit hide? Okay. Now, how's this bad boy look during the day? Because the nighttime glow is one thing, but daytime is just as important. Also, damn, this morning is almost as pretty as complimentary mornings. Okay, so the distance has a pretty decent amount of depth fog, so you are not... Constantly looking off at the edge of the world. I kind of like that. I don't like how clouds phase through blocks, but that's a Minecraft issue, not so much the, the shaders. Honestly, they look pretty good. I won't lie. Turn off this. Give me a good, nice wide-angle shot. Turn off the overlay. This, like this, and then let's hop back. Okay, and then this. Not bad. Okay, so I've got two screenshots to compare now. You know, Quick Pro is not bad for um, taking really large pictures and area of an area. You know, large angle type stuff. I think I'm just going to stick with complimentary for the time being, though, just because it's not, like... It doesn't have the obvious problems that uh, re 
thinking voxels does. But I don't know. We'll uh, we'll see as time goes on. Okay, so we got this. I kind of want to put a block there and then move this down a block. I think I'm gonna do that. That sounds adequate. Fly through the gold farm with those shaders. It won't kill your PC. Okay. Probably won't, actually. Just because you said so, Honcho Pamster. See? Nothing died. Everybody's good. Must just be a skill issue if your complimentary or if your uh, rethinking voxel shots are destroying your PC I mean that that's that's not a me problem man I won't lie Get out of here I won't lie it's a decent little pack or a decent little shader set but it doesn't really do any more any less than complimentary. There we go. Uh, that was what, like five Jack the Ripper moments back to back? Okay. I'm gonna put a thing on there to help transition it that way and then put a block up there. Cool. Oh, and the uh, entity hitboxes again. Then it was a replay mod issue. Ca crashed you three times while rendering that. Oh my god. Well, um... Yeah, I don't know, man. Uh, replay mod will, for the most part, be alright with most things, but... I can't tell you if it's gonna be funky with certain experimental shaders. Because, um... As long as something is classified as being in beta by the original author, like I'm just gonna I'm just gonna believe him, you know? As a result, I would expect issues to arise. Okay. Now, um, This is a good sort of like height map. The arch works. It just isn't angled right. Um, so what I'm thinking of doing is having this wall here, it'll have to sort of like meet up with this arch in some fashion. Let me see where it is in relation to over there. Oh, I don't want to water everything down there again. Such a pain. Okay. So down there is flush. Shit. Flush with right there. Ender Pearl's coming in handy. What time does your clock say? Jack, what processor do I have? Um, whoops. I got this, uh, Leo. I have a 24x AMD Ryzen uh, 9 3900X 12 core processor. And then I've got a GeForce RTX 3070 PCIe SSE2 NVIDIA, you know. Um, and then obviously I'm using Sodium and I'm using a bunch of like rendering mods 
with an, a an adequate amount of memory located, or allocated, rather. I kind of sort of know what I'm talking about on that front. I don't know how good I am at it, but yeah. Okay. So it's four blocks back. Down one, back two more, and then it meets... Four, and then down two. And then it just straight up goes down two more, two, and three. Okay. So if I bridge or branch off from there, similar to how it is up there, it'll end up meeting there, and then we've got a bunch of stuff here that suddenly goes past. So, like, I would have to... I have to marry these two halves somehow. Because if not, it's going to look like jank. So maybe... Maybe I could sort of pass it off as, like, it being... The space where, like, joints meet up. Maybe? Bit, uh, bit uh, it's a bit tough to, like, explain what I mean. And then the next problem after that is how do these parts fuse together to like cover up all of this, this gap in here. Because this is a huge gap right here. And this is the outermost wall, so like, should there be this giant oversized gap here? I don't think I should. I think I should fix it. Or get it, you know, covered. I've got to merge these two in such a way that it looks decent. You know, it's got to make sense. Maybe I can just have it, like, tuck into a corner. And then just wrap it around. I don't know. Well, since this is modeled after the Citadel, the Citadel from Half-Life 2, not 3, 2, did have a lot of, like, jank open spots that like didn't really make sense for it to be there other than that it's just such a large structure that in my opinion was probably hastily thrown together good enough such that it would stand up not really that it would be you know weatherproof or anything of that nature something of that you know what, maybe I ought to replay through the Citadel just so that I've got like a good internal, I don't know, experience. Two, three, four. Citadel from Rick and Morty. Well, at least that's accurate. There was a Citadel in Rick and Morty. And it was officially called that. But, like, everybody around here somehow thinks that uh, making fun of Half-Life 3 is a good thing to do. And if I uh, penalized people for it, I wouldn't have an audience. So, like, y'all better respect Half-Life 2 and Half-Life 3 when it inevitably comes out. Or else I'm gonna have to start swinging the hammer. 
But anyway, so as it, um, as this arched section comes out, I use arch, by the way. Um, I'm just going to, I don't know what to do with this corner here. This corner is wi wild. It doesn't, like, get out of here. It doesn't fit. MC. And so, I don't know, I'm going to have to do something with this to, like, make it merge in. But I think that's like the right, I don't know, the right sort of um, everything. Like, I think this will work. Uh, now I just need to know what material to make it out of. It's like, there's no way I'm leaving it as terror cotta. It should probably be what? Chiseled stone brick and uh, cobbled deep slate like this? Just so that it thematically matches. I think that would be best. Put up the things I didn't use. have this this arched section sort of deviate from the uh, standard design yeah I, I see you little boy get out of here I love having a smite five sword Citadel from Rogue One, yes. Citadel from Planet Gamor. I have no idea what that is, Ixoy, but sure, whatever. I'm gonna post the images Optopia sent me? Oh yeah, maybe I should post those. Watcha! Yeah, that might not be a bad idea. Um A little bit later, of course. Oh wow. I got stuck in here and it knocked me down. Oh yeah, polished blackstone. I'm gonna need that too, but I think we'll we'll get to that when we get to that. Okay, so this topmost section is four blocks long, and this topmost section is also four blocks long. Or well, okay, so it's what two? So this is definitely. that way and then I've got lights oh yeah I've got to work lighting in to this segment but that shouldn't be too bad sea lantern chiseled Lantern and then chiseled stone. Yeah, I think that'll work. And then same here, I've got chiseled stone brick, sea lantern, chiseled stone brick. Um. We'll, we'll do it. I'll put the lighting up on this level. And then down here, it'll just be what it is. Oops. Now I'll put Sea Lantern here. Uh, I've got some of those in my inner chest. It's not a big deal. Bam, bam. 
Okay. Didn't want to interview Oftopia? Yeah. Um, I prefer my interactions with Oftopia to be as few and far between as possible. Hey now, those are my blocks. Bad. Bad mobs. So I think what I'll do is just continue this arch pattern that way, and it'll be going in this direction, and so it'll just increment by each direction, or by, it'll increment in each direction according to this pattern, but it will be facing this direction, so it'll sort of go off like this. Um, this is really kind of just me getting the arch right, so this is going to be removed, but more or less this is what it's looking like. I have a wife and kids. Stop. Oh, holy fuck. Wow. That um, really didn't like me, did it? It put me in the block on the opposite side. His unfamily friendly on ironic views, what now? Oh yeah, no, yeah. Oftopia was um Oftopia's said and done things. That's all I'm gonna say. I can't elaborate. I would love to elaborate, but I cannot elaborate. So I'm not going to. So uh don't worry about it. It it ain't that important. Jack the kid I confront what now? It'd be interesting, but I don't uh yeah. Oh, Dr. Zombie. Um, you know, I wouldn't mind Dr. Zombie. I'm just not, like... I don't know how to get a hold of him. And I'm not really, like, certain that he's done a whole lot. Like, yeah, he made that one series. And he's definitely been around a while, but, like... I don't know. Maybe if I got to know him better. I was never that close to Dr. Zombie is the problem. I really only kind of liked interviewing people I knew. So yeah, that one's that one's tough. Okay. Once I got the um the segment that takes me all the way over to there, it should be smooth sailing to complete the arch. Uh, is Riz like the successor to Lean Meme? I have no idea. Charisma. What is that? You mean charisma as in personal charm? Is that what you're referring to? Or are you memeing, Amion? Own up to it. Charisma doesn't quite explain shit. What the fuck do you mean? Yeah. I have no idea what he's referring to. I'm going to be real with you all. Okay.
Uh, let's see here. Ross is pretty much how good you are getting at. You mean Riz is how much how good you are at getting girls? Oh, oh, it's new speak. I see. It's a uh, new slang meme. Riz as in charisma, which is what you would use to pick up girls. I see now. Okay, cool. Whatever. Well, hey, I may be a boomer, but at least I'm not cur I'm not too um, prideful to a admit it. And B, ask what the hell your uh, newer words and memes actually mean. Um, one of the people who since has long since passed away now, but um, I used to listen to him on the radio. He was really good. Um, he was like in his 70s and 80s, and he was an Apple fan. He loved uh, using whatever the latest new this or that technology. Like, he was like... He admitted he was an old fuddy-duddy and that he was actively trying to not be. And that it was a, a lot of work to avoid being and staying an old fuddy-duddy. And so, like, I always admired that about him because he was always, you know, into phones and stuff of that nature. He uh, told a really funny story of when he was a, uh, a disc jockey in, like, the 80s or the 70s. He um, pulled a prank on somebody by... And this is back when, you know, they had dial rotary phones and stuff. And so he was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, take your phone off and uh, scan it in front of somebody and just, you know, show it to me. And that, uh, I'll know what they'll look like because we got a camera inside the phone now. And he, he, he just pranked them by uh, running down a few flights of stairs to where the person was because the, the caller was coming from inside the building. And he just punked them by saying that, yeah, I could see through a camera in the receiver on the phone, which is, of course, not real. But he kind of ironically predicted that phones would have cameras one day in a weird roundabout sort of way. It was quite funny. He was always so full of such dry humor. I miss him. He had a great show. Lasted all the way up till he passed. Okay. be short for frisbee frisbee riz, fr no no frisbee is not that's not the same riz it's charisma it's short from charisma it has to be because you would use your charisma to you know impress a woman or whatever they whatever the fuck people think the one-dimensional nature of relationships is about Oh, oh, I placed this. Silly me. Oh, hi, DB Coop. How are you? Jack the Rizza. Rizla. I kind of like that. That's funny. It's stupid, but like... Maybe you're not wrong. Get some C lanterns as opposed to B lanterns. Um, yeah, that's fine. Off to see the wizard of, of Oz. How new of a word is this, Hunter? Is this like some new TikTok slang that just literally was memed into existence? Is it some sort of street bullshit that's made its way into the uh, the uh, electronic sphere? The internet, webs, whatever it's called. Ah, fuck. Let's go and get more sea lanterns. Oh, 
Okay. We almost hit someone with the frisbee, so we switched back to spare hockey puck. You had your backpack at the time. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. Like two weeks, really, Leo? It's that young? That's pretty young for a uh, new, new bit of slang. That should be more than enough. Boing. 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 William Rizsphere. Okay, now don't take William Shakespeare's name in vain. Come on, man. William Shakespeare is a better anything than most people will ever be. The slang had been around for months now. Okay, I didn't know that. I don't generally speak that much slang anymore. Ever since I stopped going to um, public school. Um, even online, like, I rarely run into this or that. But uh, if it's only a few months old, I mean, I consider that getting in on the ground floor, you know? Shit. Hate it when this happens. Yeah, that's gonna go everywhere. Oh, yeah, another thing I wanted to do was that uh, over this entire area, I want to turn this gaping hole into a uh, circular hole. So, from this corner edge to this one over here and then continue the circular pattern over around this way and then chisel through the mountain this way and around this edge back across the beach eat up this entire coastline and then all the way back around eat up through more of this flower forest and then meet up at this corner so that the whole thing is a round hole as opposed to a giant open one like this and then mine everything away and then collect all the material i would have to do that by hand for most of it because um i it would be too close to the structures might blow up something important wouldn't want to blow up my nice pretty building now would i just to help make it look more like this is a uh maybe a crash site of some kind perhaps who knows Riz CC2, oh god. Letter of resignation. Char Rizard, god damn it. Uh, how do I craft so much sea lanterns? By AFKing at my. Um, the, the farm that gives me that. I forget what it's called. Guardian Farm, that's it. Sorry, I had a brain fart. But yeah, my Guardian Farm produces stuff for me. And so I just uh, AFK there for a bit, and it gets me gets me what I need. Oh. Usually I'll do that while I'm editing or something else. Trick shot. But I can make it. Yes. Okay. The only Riz I'm down with R R Z A what? What even? Theodore Roosevelt. Oh my god, you guys are just sick in the head. Makes me glad I'm not in high school or middle school or whatever school you guys are in any longer. Norman Risborn. Norman Osborn. Harry, the McRiblet is in is at McDonald's. It's only in McDonald's every few seasons. But Harry, it's McRib season. God damn it, that was so fucking funny. Uh oh.
the Mick Rivlin uh, edit of Spider-Man. That movie is so fun. Funny. Oh my god. Okay, this is not fun. Also, I need more intervals. Riz Lord, I guess. I don't know. How much did it cost to take Jordan Peterson to the Sabbath? What? What does that fucking mean? Merry Rizmas, how dare you? Christmas is already over. Don't bring that up again until next year. I don't want to think of or see or hear Christmas anything. Christmas was nice this year. I didn't have to hear any of it. Oh my god, I want to like, I want to time you all out, but again, if I did that, I'd have no audience. Like, Jesus Christ, guys. Have some, have some class. Don't be such riz holes. We're just going to get to the point where we're substituting riz for multiple common uh, words and, and syllables and all sorts of things now, aren't we? And then we're going to turn it into a verb, and then it'll mean everything under the sun, like fuck, or smurf, like... Smurf in hell, you fucks. Oh well. Such is the way of the internet. And then in three to four months' time, when you're all sick of it, I'm going to start using it, and then it'll not be cool. But I'm going to keep using it, because it's kind of riz tardy. I saw that, Jay, that's so fucking funny. <laughs> Okay, wow. Uh, maybe we have a way to circumvent some things. I, uh, I've, I've had a sudden change of heart. Yes, yes, this might actually be a value. Hmm. Good idea, Jayhawk. Thank you. You're, you're, you're a king. Something you don't have, DB. What? What the fuck is Riz? It stands for charisma. Charisma. It's catching on among the youth, because the youth think things are cool, when in reality they're cringe, they just haven't yet realized it. It'll become cringe when the older people start using it, like... I don't know. Like me. But until then, you're just riz -tarded. If you don't. You know, gotta chase that trend. And if you don't, then what are you doing with your life? Riz ass. Never gonna riz you up. Never gonna riz you down. Oh my god, it's so hot in here. You're gonna have to riz me off. Holy fuck, that sounded terrible. That sounded way better in my head than I... Oh my god. There are just some things that when they come out of your mouth, it's just not even the same. <laughs> Clean of the... Just, just stop. Please, guys, I beg of you, spare me. Spare me this, this embarrassment. Because I'm dying from AIDS. Riz is a double-edged sword, I know, I know. Oh, man. I mean, you can't help it sometimes, but... God, just... Boo. Well, it just goes to show, those with great power uh, bear an even greater responsibility. As, San as Stan Lee once said. Of course, now Stan Lee is dead, so he can't say it anymore. But the people that parrot and puppet his um, Twitter account will most certainly t tell you. You know. Don't you just love that there are Twitter accounts that are literally from people who are no longer with us? And that, like, it's almost like a ventriloquist dummy. That that person can just be made to say anything. They're dead as fuck, but, like, they're a total and complete uh, sock puppet at that point. Like, it's, it's wild. Why do we allow that? Seriously, why do we allow that? 
It's so damn disrespectful. I just, I, I can't even. Shit. I fell. Call the ambulance. Okay. Spider Riz. Horror is shit. Yeah, this, is, this whole meme is horror is shit. You aren't wrong, Jayhawk. Grizz Lantern. Nothing like seeing some long dead celebrity promote dead ass shit like NFTs. Yeah, exactly. Maybe when I'm dead, that'll do that to me. Batman the Dark Knight Rizzes. Oh, God. Okay, now that's just a little too cringe. Even for me. Like, ugh. Have a little bit of self-respect, uh, Jay Hall. What would you do if you got caught in Shrek's swamp? Uh, well, I wouldn't let him, you know, do whatever he did to that one boy in that coffee pasta. I pray to Shrek every night. Yeah, that one. That's just terrible. Terrible. Uh, no, that pun was terrible. I feel as though it is my duty to um, absolutely abuse the shit out of this and like run it into the ground so that nobody else can use it or will at the very least consider stopping using it. I don't know. I don't know how good that's going to be. I don't know how effective that is. Okay. Um... How to best merge these two? See, what I could do is just make it go off onto that corner there. I think I will. But this needs to be brought down a block. so good. I'm going to have to continue the slabs that way around this edge. Uh, maybe I should have made this cobble deep slate with the chiseled stone brick under it. Yeah, I think that's what I'll make. Place this with cobbled deep slate as I go. OK. 
Okay, cool. Cool, cool. Anyway, Poncho Rizter, oh my god, you're going to start doing that to everybody, aren't you? My name doesn't even have a single I. I know, right? But that doesn't stop them from bastardizing it, does it? You're, uh, you're in for the, the long haul, Poncho. Same as me. This, uh, this Riz pattern. It ain't going anywhere. We must make a resistance. Instead of the, the Riz, we must call it the Ruz. Or some shit like that. You know, counterculture. That's what we need. We need to quickly cobble together some sort of, like, something that will, I don't know, go against the grain. Something snappy. Riz is pretty snappy. What, uh, what would, what, what sounds good? Like, Ruz is pretty decent. I don't know. I think it's the Z. The Z makes it sound sexy. We gotta, we gotta do something else, you know? Appeal some other way. Not piss. Whoa. I'm so glad you can do this. Slip under a block. The Ruz is a dumb idea, Jack. No Riz. Damn. <sighs> well, you can't blame a guy for trying. I've got to stop and, and do something. I've got to protect your innocent, young, dumb minds from being corrupted by this Riz bullshit. Or else you'll I'll lose all Riz respect for you. And I don't know. I, I just... <sighs> we got to do something. Oh shit, I'm out of I'm out of the circle stone. No. If if nothing is done, you'll all go riztarded on me, and I just I can't have that. I I talked to you guys about complex shit like science and math and philosophy, well not math, but philosophy and other interesting uh, subjects just because like I don't want you guys going stupid on me. I want I want my audience to be, you know, smart and self-aware and respectable not riz tarted and this whole thing is just gonna corrupt your your uh vulnerable little brains and and turn you into some sort of tiktok driven puppet next thing i know you'll be spouting chinese communist propaganda and uh, just uh, i can't even But it's okay. It's okay. We can we can fight this. We can do it, guys. Attack of the Riz. The Riz rises back. Crizzy. God, don't even. Riz Venge of the Riz. Oh my. To be too to be too Riz doesn't even fucking work, man. Well, hopefully you guys get this out of your systems. Like seriously. Hopefully. If not, I might have to start applying some hammers directly to some foreheads. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. I don't have TikTok installed. It's a sign of no riz because you're stuck watching it all day instead of living the good life. Hey now, I don't I don't stand on or stay on TikTok all the time. I, I actually only ever go on there to post my shorts and that's it. I don't browse, I don't do none of that. Whoops. Oh, come on, let me go. But let it not be said that Jack has no riz. I do.
You're an exception, Jack the Rizza. Thank you. All these people saying Riz is making me suicidal. I know, right? Ugh. But we must resist. That wasn't a pun or a joke of any kind. We Seriously, we have to resist this bullshit. If not, I don't know what'll happen. I might have to end this stream early. Out of protest. Maybe even a hunger strike. Riz, I, Riz am your father? What? Stone Cold Killer, I had an aneurysm from reading that. I just, I can't even. I don't have a TikTok account. Well, Luca, that doesn't mean that it can't infect you from afar. That's like saying, well, I don't live in a forest. But that doesn't mean a forest fire can't happen near you. Oh, whoops. There we go. Problem more or less solved. Okay, so that's my fault for not making it on the appropriate Y level. I ended up going a block too high on accident, but whatever, it worked out. Now I can merge that corner around and maybe even make a little um, secret passage of some kind that goes there. Like a staircase of some kind. or uh, Make that an entrance exit. Who knows? We'll see. Riz Craft God. Hey, Lakai Matthews Beach. How are you? Welcome, welcome. I hope TikTok at least has a better UI than YouTube Shorts. It does, but not by much. Um, the problem with YouTube Shorts and all that is that they they don't really know what they're catering to. They're trying, but they're not like there yet. Okay, uh, this back portion here is probably actually unnecessary. Maybe. We'll see. Um, hmm. Put that there, and that'll just sort of be the end. In Paraguay, when adolescents talk using slang, we call them piquilos. Piquillos? That literally translates to babies that want to rob you. Oh my god. That is so fucking awesome. I want to be a baby. And rob people. I too would like to commit crimes. As an infant. I mean, I'd be, a pro I'd be above reproach, right? Nobody be able to, like, stop me or anything, right? I don't know if it works that way, but, um, yeah, I can dream. And like dream, I can do a face reveal and everybody will forgive me, right? No, I'm kidding. I don't actually want to do crime. I don't endorse crime. That was a joke. For legal reasons, that was a joke. Oh wait, no, fuck that. That end can't be cut off. Okay. Almost got it.
right. This part of the curb doesn't matter because it's behind blocks you will not be able to see. Or you won't be able to see through it, I mean. So it's fine. The Nightmare Before Christmas. Stop, Hunter. How are your braces doing, Hunter? Are you, uh, you in agonizing pain yet? Because I think a little agonizing brace-induced pain should probably be, uh, proper compensation for the, the storm of cringe you have subjected my chat to for the last hour and some change. Well, it's probably more like 30 minutes, but still. You know, let the punishment fit the crime, as they say. Christmas mustn't be mentioned exactly. Jack, thoughts on ketamine? I don't really know much about how it works other than that it's a drug and it makes you trip. Um, I forget what ketamine is used for legitimately. Um, I should probably look that up. Like, in all honesty, I don't really think about it. But, um, yeah, I don't know. Hmm, my jaw is fucking popping. A-OK, -okay, actually, okay. Did you end up taking, um, the Tylenol and Ibuprofen that, uh, the other night? Oh shit, I deleted my template. No. I forgot what I was going to do. Okay, so it was 2-2 two, two, and then it turns at an angle? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. The kitty is whining. Or wait, no. This would be Deep Slate, chiseled. And then we got, what, one, two, three, four blocks that way? Meow. She knows I'm making fun of her. Thoughts on black tar heroin? Well, uh, I think it's used for animal treatment, really. I'm actually curious. Purpose. Original purpose, there we go. Uh, it's an anesthetic used to induce loss of consciousness and relieve pain. Ah. Okay. Well, that makes sense. It's an anesthesia and a depression treatment. Interesting. Well, yeah. more you know. Obviously, I do not recommend the abuse or the uh, misuse of it. One, two, three. Uh, it's two blocks. I've screwed something up here. So four, two, and then it turns. Okay. Two, that. Hold on a minute, Ellie. I'm trying to figure something out. I don't know if you all can hear her chirping in the background. She really, really, really wants out of my room. I say she can wait. For just a moment, anyway. It's not going to take long. Okay. Yeah, this is where I had it. Meow. And then we'll do that. Perfect. Okay. Put that there. And I think that gets it. 
that should finalize the design. Ow. 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 Yeah, that'll look good. From, like, up under here. Yeah, I like that. And then, um... I'll continue the slabs around the edge. You can see these, uh... Cobbled stone... Cobbled deep slate half slabs there. I'll do something about those. And then I'll pearl up here and do something about a kitty. Oh, shot missed. Damn it. I hate how I can't tell what depth something is at simply because there's just no way to. Shame, really. Uh, hold on, BRB. Well, I mean, I do occasionally search up weird stuff every now and then. So I think, like, the variety of odd stuff that I search will, over time, just kind of cancel out. I don't know. Oh, am I still using Distant Horizons mod? Or am I using it? Or do I have the AMD Threadripper in a 4090? I do not use Distant Horizons. Maybe I oughta. I've really not bothered. Let me see if I can um, put it on real fast. Ah. Last updated December 29th. Okay. So I'm assuming that this must be a fairly stable version for there to have not been any new versions in the last, like, almost month. So we shall see. Um, okay. I'm going to throw it on just to see if it makes this place look cooler. So in the meantime, let us gawk and uh, look at this while I very, very quickly swap over. To uh, the new to Distant Horizons. I do actually kind of want to test out Distant Horizons. I've heard a lot about Distant Horizons. I've seen it in action. I'm curious to see if it will play nice with everything I got or not. But yes, I'm going to put a restraining order on you, Hunter. Yes, I will. Anyway, so um, this, uh, this bottom most area is kind of what I was inspired by. On the bottom left corner, there's a uh, large amount of sort of like overarching, I don't know, whatever you want to call that. And then there are these little pockets, almost like levels. They've got little bars rising up from them, little pillars. I have no idea what, what type of acid this thing was tripping on when it generated this, but like, yeah, it's something. I like it. I like it a lot. All right. Mojang. Mojang. All right. Crash on me, I dare you. Yes? No? Okay. Uh, Iris has updated, who cares? Uh, note, you're currently using this batch chunk pre-generator. I do not know what that means. Hopefully this does not make it more trouble to uh, load. I don't know, we'll see. And then it's supposed to once it's got, like... Aha. Uh. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. 
buffers, GPU method rebuild time. I have no idea what any of that does. Yeah, wow. Um, this definitely looks more like play around with it and find out, figure it out for yourself kind of stuff. Uh, we'll run it on fake chunks. Interesting. All right. So I'm I'm assuming this is just going to take its time to uh, get get out far enough to oh my god the FPS lag is just wild might not have been a good idea I don't know yeah wow it's fine when I look out there but when I look down it gets like really bad It's late, why am I doing it? Wait, what? Have something to listen to about the third day. Oh, a three day late journalism homework. Well, if it's late, you still get some credit for the assignment. That's usually how it was in uh, most colleges or most university or whatever. But yeah, no, Poncho probably is not getting very good. Uh, very good grades, I'm sure. Okay, so is this gonna like go out farther than this? I'm interested to see exactly how this thing will behave. Damn, it's so weird looking and seeing a completed pylon on the north and south sides. Like, the whole thing actually feels more like a hexagon now instead of just sort of a, an odd looking stack of pillars. Like, it actually feels like it's going to be something now. We've got the uh, boundaries kind of marked out more appropriately. So how's this work? What am I not doing that I should be? Turn off shaders? Okay. Oh, it doesn't work with shaders. That I did not know. That's dumb, but I understand. Oh my god, how distant is this going to generate, I wonder? Aw oh man, I like shaders though. Is it done? You see the Guardian Farm. No, the Guardian Farm is even farther out that way. That's just the um, the uh, raid farm. What if I go over this way? Does it, uh, does it play nice? Fuck, I knew I'd miss. <laughs> FPS, please. How far out is it trying to do? The shadow render distance uh, controls are how far away train continues to be rendered in the shadow pass. Lower distance means that less terrain will be rendered, improving frame rate. So I'm going to be changing. Hmm. Let's just go to 20. Lower the simulation. Quality control. Fanciest block, fastest chunk. 
Uh, how well fixed chunks represent overhangs, cliffs, etc. Uh, let's go on low with that. How far apart drops in quality are. Higher settings will increase the distance between drops, but will give increased memory and GPU usage. How detailed drop-offs is calculated. Uh-huh. Far. Disables Minecraft's fog on vanilla chunks. Renders fog like normal. Hmm. Well, that's cool, I guess. See how bad this is. I mean, this isn't terrible or anything. Oh, God. It's got to actually, like, render everything down there in. Unspoken Riz runs in Hunter's family, I guess. Okay, well, the frame rate stabilized a bit better. I can actually make jumps again. I don't think it'll go out to the Guardian farm, though. I don't know how far out it's going to go. Is there an option for it to show how far out it? World gen. Okay. How complicated the generation should be. Light generation. Let's go for fast on that one because there's no point for it to be fancy. Near first. Push it up to 20. It's just out to there. I like seeing fake chunks become real chunks. But um, apart from that, I'm really not getting anything like... I'm not that impressed. First of all, I can't even get it to go all the way out to the world spawn, which is like, you can kind of see where my very first base was over there, right at the tip of my cursor, or my crosshair, rather. That's where I based for the very first few episodes way back when. And then world spawn should be somewhere beyond the fog in that direction. And then the guardian farm is way out there in that direction. Yeah, now it's just like, bumping my frame rate to zero every so often. Probably because I have it set to 32. So I guess the thing to do now would be to fly away far away and see the place from a long distance off. A distance so far you wouldn't ordinarily be able to see it. And see how it looks with it being quote, estimated. Oh, this must be a, uh... Yeah, wow. The rendering just lags like shit. Can't really go further because of the curvature of the world. Oh, okay. Set it to 2048? What? How do I do that? You killed my brother, you sons of bitches! Mario, Mario, yes, he did say that. Has to load the new ones, yeah. Um, threading debug buffers. I 
don't know what that is. Whoops. World generator. The max render is 2048. Oh, so it's already at 2048 is what you're saying. God, that looks like shit. Let's just fall in the water here. So dizzy as you qualify for Rizzlemania. Shut up, man. Please stop, Hunter. Yeah, wow, that looks like garbage, but it still looks cool. It just doesn't retain the detail. Oh, wait, no. Some bits are coming into focus. That's pretty cool, I guess. It definitely has potential. I wish it worked with shaders. Wait, there we go. Oh god, there's a trident wielding drowned. I do actually need a trident, though. There he is. Okay, well, it's got all the uh, detailing, more or less. That's cool, or whatever. Um, first and foremost, I'm, I'm going back to how I had it, because it's just... It's going to be too much, you know? Let's just throw up show and tell number one. And, uh, yeah, we'll admire the, uh, bumpy, cool, uh, nature of it. Okay, well, Distant Horizons is... It's interesting, to say the least. It ain't bad. It's interesting. Let me, um, I, I noticed there was an update for Iris and Sodium. Let me very quickly get those before I fire up. Uh, the, the instance again. Uh, wait, am I not using this? Yeah. yeah. This is Iris. Three point zero point one, and this is one point four point six. What? Oh, it's an installer. No, I want the um, I want the dot jar file. I don't want an installer. One point five point one. Ah. Okay, cool. Now we got that. Anyway. Iris. So yeah, this AI generated thingy here is uh, kind of sort of what I'm going for. Um, I'm definitely going to be using it to uh, what, what would just sort of use it loosely to like inspire myself you know what I mean it probably the final product in my hardcore world probably won't look like that but we'll see oh god damn it something crashed oh the sodium sodium is too um, too good Okay, so it needs to be 4 point, or 0 0.4.6. It can't be 4.8. Whatever. Good thing I, I kept the, um, the old jar file. I guess 
everything has a dependency on that? That's, that's weird. I don't know. Whatever. Hopefully the uh, problem will solve itself. But anyway, yeah, so the, uh, the, uh, the right side here, you can see these underside pillars and how they're shaded. I really like how that looks, and I want to sort of copy that into the, uh, the wall that I'm trying to build. Just to, you know, just to give it some texture, some variation. Ah, oh, fuck. Okay, well, the version of Iris I got is, um, need it. it needs, uh, the updated version of Sodium, and the updated version of Sodium was not, it was too much. Fair enough. We shall hop on over. This is Iris. Damn, I got to go. Thank you for streaming. Okay, take care, man. Okay, come on, Minecraft. That was a fun little um, distraction. Let's get back into normal mode, shall we? There we go. Oh, yeah. I don't think I don't see you, boy. You ain't gonna survive. Damn it, he dropped copper, but he didn't drop a trident. Oh well. I don't want these. There we go. I was hoping my uh, wall would load in here. I want to see how far away I can get. I'm only on 20 chunks, so it's not like it's that far, but... That's more or less what it's going to look like when it's... If you walked into render distance and saw it, that's more or less what would reach you. Oh, that feels good. Popping my fingies. Okay. Now I want to finish this arch. Shit. Shit, 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 shit. All right. That was, that was an interesting little experiment. We got to see what uh, Distant Horizons is like. I was actually very curious for a long time. And it just kept slipping my mind to try it out. But now that I know that it A, doesn't play nice at all, and B, isn't even compatible with shaders, like, eh, it needs to improve a lot. Either that or I don't know quite what to do to improve it myself. That is, I don't know how to use it properly, which is entirely possible, so who knows. Um, I guess I've sated my curiosity for the time being. Not a big drinker, what's a, a good whiskey? 
I don't know. Something from uh, Made in Tennessee. I've heard uh, Tennessee has a good whiskey. There's a good... Um, uh, I forget what it's called. There's a type of whiskey that they make in Tennessee. I've heard good things about it. Um, I forget the name of it. It's very famous, apparently. Oh, shit. I hate that it takes the Ender Pearl. And it overrides that. Evolution of dance, what? Build needs more red to make it look like a heart core heart. Um, we'll see. I don't know that I need to put red on here, on here like that, just just for the sake of it. Again, we'll see. We'll see. There we go. Okay. All sorted out. Except not. I, I need more... I need more stone. Okay. Um, before I continue that, I've got to get more chiseled stone brick. Which may require going and mining. there. Empty shulker for uh, something else later. Empty shulker for stone. I can quickly craft it all into chiseled stone brick with the um, block cutter up there. Oh, damn it. I'm out of uh, range. Yeah, see, this is why I want to, like, mine everything out by hand. I'll have more resources for um, various stones that I will inevitably need. And also, it'll help aid the uh, terraforming process, because, like, there's a lot of wacky shit that I want. Maybe I could, like, funnel, turn this side into, like, a funnel of some kind, where you don't necessarily get... Um... Well, what's a good way to describe it? Like... It's a circle, but it, it ends up, like, stepping down per level, and it, it funnels along the side. And then, obviously, I can put the lava and cobble and stuff there around later on when I get to that. Damn skeleton. Uh. Shit. I don't appear to be able to get... can't get the, uh, fucking beacon power. I need somewhere where I can get beacon power and not have to set up another beacon. <sighs> but it looks like I'm gonna have to.
You know, I should just burn down this section of forest. I've been meaning to, like, get rid of all this crap, but... I've been lazy about it. I think it's time to not be lazy any longer. Sorry, Mr. Cow, your house, your home, your everything you know and love needs to go. Just like the the Midnight Council, it, it all needs to go up in smoke. Ah! Bastard. Fucking bastard. Ah. Okay, see, that was my fault. I'm sorry, Mr. Cow, you need to go too. Oh. He just couldn't stand the heat. Should have stayed out of the kitchen. Okay. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna like start terraforming the, the land at some point. I don't know if I'll do it on stream or if I'll dig off stream or what. But I definitely wanna like get more of this area tamed. Because, like, it just sort of starts as a, uh, whoopsie. It just sort of is normal, and then suddenly it's a cliff, and it just falls off into, well, you know. And that's, eh, it's not a great look. I feel like I could do that. What the? Burn, damn it. So yeah, like, I don't want it to just be a straight drop-off. I want to kind of slope it off a bit. I hate how some of these burn and then they just sort of stop. Leaving logs hanging in midair. Leaves hanging in midair. Like... I thought the fire tick was supposed to be outrageous, not moderately annoying. I'm definitely going to need to repair this thing soon. This, uh, this flint and steel's my pride and joy. I think this is the first flint and steel I ever made. There we go. Fitz said Hermetic Lock was invited to the Bohemian Grove. What? Oh, the actual Bohemian Grove. I was like, oh, yeah, yeah, I get what you mean now. Yes, that was the inspiration for the Midnight Council. That, uh, that did happen. I, I mean, personally, I don't really care, but, you know, it's cool, I guess. Come on, light everything. Oh, and I should probably stop using it now. Shall repair you later. Later being in, like, three months. Okay, so we got enough open space now. Um, actually, I do need this. Spare iron. Where did I put my spare beacon? There they are. Put haste two on that. Okay. Uh, 
I'll go and grab some excess iron blocks I'm not using. Oh, Isaac Madsen. Let them trees burn. How's life? Uh, it's doing all right. I've been doing all right, too. How have you been, Isaac? Happy to see you. Thank you so much for your donation, by the way. Much appreciated. I'm saving up um, iron for the walls that I know are going to need them. So we'll get the iron for that. And then this should be enough iron for a big beacon. single ingot to pay for haste. Burn. Yes. College life being less stressful. Happy to be a bit more free. All right. Well, unfortunately, um, I don't know what, isn't the uh, spring semester beginning soon? Like I would think you all would have to uh, put your noses back to the grindstone sooner rather than later. Um, unless the winter holiday has really just now kicked in. Although I, I imagine winter break is over most. Fuck, where did I put all of my iron in? I guess I don't have any iron nuggets. Must have used them all. Oh well. Love how Herm actually does IRL stuff and is not a pure LARPer like the rest of the edgy kids who build... Yeah. Exactly. It started, but it's less credit hours. Okay, cool. Well, good. Good, good. Maybe you can take uh, take it a bit slower. Well, unfortunately, um, meow. That was my cat, not me. But yes, meow. Okay. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Is Herm like a billionaire? I don't think he's a billionaire. He just knows the right people. And that gives you connections. And therefore, you can get access to things like that. Oh yeah, that reminds me. I meant to talk about my uh, video on, you know, the Midnight Council. You all enjoyed it, yes? Would you all like to see more Spongebob-related, like, memes and other stuff? Like, I felt that that was, like, hilarious. Me uh, dunking on Herm droning on and on. Hermetic lock droning in E minor. Woo, E minor, yeah! Like, old Spongebob was fucking hilarious, so I felt that that was a good way to sort of make a fun little callback. Alpha said, I showed the video to Alpha. Alpha got weirded out. He was like, Jack, this is, an, this is a side of you I don't really see. And I'm like, eh... My silly side and the YouTube-friendly silly side isn't something I normally bring out. I usually keep it to myself for good reason. But, like, I've tried to sort of channel that a bit with videos as of late. So, I don't know. Like, there's probably an element of that that's true. That I don't really show off how crazy I can get sometimes. But, like, I can get crazy sometimes. I'm very well adjusted and very, like, calm and quiet normally. But there is an element of me, of my, I don't know, my sense of humor that I just don't show off to people. I don't have to, I guess. I guess I like keeping it to myself, but I'll also, like, use it for other things. I don't know. To each their own, I suppose. F is for fire that burns down the whole town. U is for uranium bombs. N is for no survivors. Yes. I loved that uh, song when Plankton was singing that. that. That was so fucking funny and clever. Oh, man. Favorite part with Spongebob memes. Good. Then, then it, it, it landed pinpoint accurately. 
I loved it. I'll have to uh, try and use a little more. I did actually intend to, when we were um, burning down everything at the very end, on that clip, or on that segment, I was going to be like, uh, you know, Patrick, we saved the Midnight Council, and it was going to be, you know, the Bikini Bottom on Fire segment. I was, I was probably going to, I don't know, maybe that would have been funnier. Maybe I should have done that. I was kind of like, well, you know, maybe that's going a bit too far. I was very indecisive about it at the time, and my brother was like, yeah, that's funny, maybe you should put that in there. And I was like, nah, I think, I think that's enough, you know. But now I can see maybe I didn't go far enough, who knows. You have to watch that later? Oh, Crowbar, yes, please do. I made an interesting, I don't know how good you'll re like it. Um, we'll see. Just, uh, yeah, give it a watch. Let me know what you think. DM your, your thoughts to me. And if you feel like there are places or parts where I could improve, let me know. I've uh, I've asked Fit if that video was like any good and if there were any parts or places it could have improved on. Still haven't gotten back to me. Unfortunately. Okay. So hopefully Fit will watch my video and give me thoughts. What about the thumbnail? Did you guys like the thumbnail? I've been trying to, like, figure out, like, the right sweet spot, you know, for thumbnail design. I'm, I'm hoping that was, like, good enough. I don't know. I don't know what... I don't even know what good enough is in this context. Like, trying to hit just the right amount of silliness with, like, fun, dumb shit. I don't know. It's, it's, a, it's a balance. It certainly is. Uh, that's the place with the mock sacrifice on vid. Yes. Something like that. And then Alex Jones went there one day, one time they, they met and tried to, like, make a documentary on how the world, uh, the, the rich people are there to, like, plot and scheme and shit, when in reality Bohemian Grove is more of a uh, relax and get away and not talk about business related things. It's actually more of an unwinding bonding thing than it is an actual full-blown hey, let's scheme and do, you know, stuff of that nature. It was never, apparently, according to Herm, it was never a, um, it was never the sort of thing where, like, interesting things happen as much as it is like fun you know it's like going out on a camping trip with your family it's kind of like that that was that's what he likened it to oh every villain is lemons oh okay do i own a lemon pound cake or i mean i own a lemon pound cake is that a is that, does that make me a villain is that does that qualify Get their poncho. Probably be three handshakes away from Herm now that you think of it. Yeah, probably. Would you like me to introduce you to Hermetic Lock? I'm just kidding. I know you would die of stage right if I did that. You'd have a heart attack. We're basically eight handshakes away. Well, now, remember what I said. Um, the world now kind of operates on a three or four degrees of separation uh, kind of principle where everybody is only so many degrees of, of knowing and uh, understanding away from some other group of people or what have you uh, Canadian Crab you know how, how he's been going crazy with his little content creators graph thing and uh, yeah him seeing that like that really kind of just convinces me that my theory is right, that it's like three or four degrees of separation now. And that everybody is only a few people away from knowing someone they adore or like or whatever. Perfect. You are much, much closer than you realize, simply because the internet has so brought people together. You know, how many handshakes away from PewDiePie am I, I wonder? 
Probably not that many, in all honesty. Now, whether or not you could make use of that is another matter, but you get the idea. It's not so far-flung. Or it's not so far-fetched, sorry. It's not so far-fetched to think that you might just end up getting to rub shoulders with some of these people one day if you played your cards right. Heavy emphasis on playing your cards right. But yeah, who knows? No, he'd hate me just like Andrew does. Andrew is a, um... Andrew is a curmudgeon. He dislikes what he has ended up having to face. Um... I feel like Andrew... Andrew's gonna, like, get mad or, like, get overwhelmed or something and, like, go totally radio silent one day. I don't know. Hey, Isaac Oliver, how are you? Andrew is gonna go bananas and just absolutely lose it. And I think that's because he's overreached his own capacity for, like, tolerating people. Apparently, he's not very good at tolerating people, which, you know... Everybody has different levels of that. Uh, Andrew strikes me as a very Doom poster-y kind of person. And to be fair, you know, people some people are more vulnerable to uh, that mindset. They become more Doom poster-y over time. I don't know. Herm is very chill, yes. Herm is a really cool, very chill guy. He would totally be your friend, Poncho. Like, no joke. He really, truly would be. I don't think you've had anything to worry. I don't think you would have anything to worry about. That's what I mean. So yeah, don't worry. Other than that, though. This goes here. This goes back a block. This gets circle stone work. Chiseled, whatever. It's circular in Minecraft terms. And then that goes like that. Okay. Here we go. Herm is very down to earth, yes. He's like. He's got a silly streak to him. You can tell. Holy fuck, die. Anyway, he's got a silly streak to him, but, like, he's a really cool guy. He's very nice, very generous, very understanding. Like, he's got that balance that very few people have figured out how to hit before the age of 30. And he's only in his early to mid-20s. So, like, he's very... He was raised right. He didn't go off the deep end. He's, you know, kept himself pretty well in tow. Like, Herm is, Herm is great for that. He reminds me a lot of myself. In a good way. I don't know, Herm, he's probably chill from what... Yeah, yeah, he is, he is. Don't worry, mate. Probably closer to the guy with the funny mustache than to Jack. What? Guy with the funny... You don't, you're not talking about who I think you're talking about, are you, Poncho? What do you mean you're closer to the guy with the funny mustache? What the fuck does that mean? How are you closer to him? Oh, hey, Dirty D. I remember when Circle Stone was so exclusive you can only get three blocks in a jungle temple only. Yes, that was, that was those were the days. I went for kilometers and kilometers trying to just get as much of it as I could just because that was the only way you could get it and it, it meant something. And I don't think people had yet duplicated it to hell and back. Rizzler? Yeah, yeah, that guy. I hope he's not referring to Rizzler. Herm sounds like me? Nah. Herm's natural voice is a little bit higher than mine. 
But I kind of, I guess, see what you mean? I don't know. It deep ends. Like, sometimes I can get really high, and sometimes I go really low. And I don't think Herm goes this low. And, like, I feel when I feel like garbage, I'm, like, down here all the time. And I'm just like, oh, my God, please kill me. And I don't think Herm can get this low. This is just not normal for him. Now, Fit, I could see Fit getting that low. But under normal circumstances, no. Just depends. You are? Why are you referring to, uh, what's his name? Name who, he sh who shall not be named for YouTube reasons. Like, why are you comparing or saying you're closer to him than me? Like, how is that even remotely true? Like, you literally have talked to me. How have you talked to Rizzler? Like, that makes no sense. The dude is dead well before any of us were even born. Even before Crowbar was born. And I'm assuming Crowbar is still around. Um, like, huh? That makes zero sense. Hundred fifty thousand Blackstone, Jesus Ixoy. Get a get a job, Ixoy. Good God. Haven't died yet. No, that's not what I'm saying. I'm in a round as in you're in the YouTube chat. But no, like Rizzler bit the bullet, if you know what I mean. Well before any of us were even born. Including up to before Crowbar. So like how on earth are you, Poncho Hamster, closer to you-know-who than me? When, again, you've literally talked to me. I don't see how you could have gotten, like... I mean, that dude is so dead. Like, who cares? But at the same time, it's so weird. You're three persons away from him, really? Oh, that's what you meant. Three degrees of separation. Damn. What, familial? Or... So what, you had a grandparent who knew someone who knew someone who knew him? I mean, it would have to be a grandparent, right? Unless your family escaped from... Deutschland. Pancho has unspoken Riz. <laughs> Yeah, it's uh, that's something. I don't know how uh, how Riz it is, but uh, yikes, potentially. People I know, not grandparents. Okay. Well, you know, I guess uh, I guess that's just how it is. And no, you are actually, I would say, equal then. Because you literally, like, talk to me. Like, you know me directly, Poncho. Like, I will literally call you up and talk to you. Like, that's one degree. Like, that's the closest possible degree that you can get to anyone. I literally know and talk to them. Like, at best three degrees for Rizzler, but you're literally one degree with me. So no, you're still wrong. Like, eh? You send it the full length later, okay. Sure, I guess, whatever. Don't have enough Riz for Jack to talk to you. Yes, I do. I talk to you plenty, so shut up. What, what even? You guys are, are just on a weird tear tonight. Wait a minute. Oh no, have I been doing this wrong? Please no. Okay, wait. Okay, yeah, it's two over. Okay. 
Okay, phew. We're we're safe. We're safe. Just doesn't voice chat. No, that's true. I don't voice chat often myself either, but that's fine. I, I still text you guys, is what I'm saying. That's good enough for me. So, like, I wouldn't... I wouldn't care any deeper than that. Okay, I should have enough cobbled deep slate to finish this. Oh yeah, Crowbar, I meant to say, Five Isles was amazing. Um, the, uh, the cinematic was just, oh, it was perfect. I kind of wish I had taken some spots slower, but that overall, I was so, so overwhelmed by everything you'd done. You and Joey and, um, Dark and everybody else, just, wow. I'm sorry you guys got griefed, but like, damn, dude. I hope the uh, Don Furian people decide to like randomly rebuild that place one day and just not tell anyone. I don't know how they would, but you know. thanks for doing that. Oh, you're very welcome. I felt, you know, the way to, to memor or not memor memorialize or to like honor a base properly is to show it off in its fullest most beautiful form like any less is, is a disrespect to those who made it like I don't want it to be funerally I want it to be more hey you know this is how awesome it was you know you, this is this is what it looked like when it was fully and totally complete and, and so on or not complete, but intact, rather. This is what these people hope to achieve, and so on and so forth. I'm glad to uh, know that I hit that. You're so antisocial, you wouldn't talk much in VC. Yeah, exactly. So many people are so socially, like, afraid of their own shadow. They can't talk to people. Be it over voice chat or in person, doesn't matter. Like, everybody is so introverted now. And like, I can remember how troublesome it was for me to break out of that. And I'm very glad I was able to. But also at the same time, like, yikes. You guys are gonna have a hell of a nightmare of an adult life trying to you know, get anywhere in this world. Just because, like, you're going to have to talk to someone. And it's going to have to be someone you don't know. Just by law of averages. But, oh well. What can you do? Okay. Let's see how this bad boy looks from underneath. Oh, baby, I like that. Yeah, that works. Oh, that does it for me. Nice teaser. Yes. Anything drawing board already? Um, are you burn out? Um, you're an Isaac Arthur fan, so you like what I'll be revealing next. Oh, baby. Isaac Arthur fans unite. Um... I mean, that could realistically be anything, of course, but that sounds dope as hell. Also, I need to make that line sea lanterns. Um, a rim world, maybe? Like in Halo? That would be dope. I would love that. Holy shit, that would be so cool. 
Although I don't know how good you could pull something like that off on 2v2t, but, you know, more power to you. A RimWorld uh, Halo design would be awesome, if done right. Okay, and then this needs to be sea lanterns. Or is it going to be something like an O'Neill cylinder, or maybe... God, I don't even know what else you could make. I, I don't know that you could do an O'Neill cylinder justice in Minecraft, but, you know, it'd be interesting to see. Definitely looking forward to whatever that ends up being, man. Crunch. Oh, I didn't get a crit. Okay. Get some cobble deep slate slabs. Ah, shit. It was a pain in the arse to build, I figured. I mean, what isn't? Anything good should be a pain in the ass to build, you know? Uh, I already found the full link of me, and uh, it's literally just four photos. Okay. Well, show it to me. Don't worry, I won't tell anybody about it. You don't, you don't gotta worry. Three people, four handshakes. Okay, so that would be what? Four, four degrees? Lamau, no. Oh, okay, whatever. Ah, Commodore Berry Bridge, I think your father worked on. Uh, I don't know what that is. Commodore Berry Bridge. What? Sounds very, um, very off, off the beaten mark, but whatever. I don't know what relevance that has, Stone, but sure. Late response from earlier. Oh, okay. Robot Chicken. What about Robot Chicken, Lynx? Is that show still going? Is it any good? Can remember when that show aired and any show that's been on for about that long is probably not terribly interesting anymore unless it is unless by somehow some miracle it's still any good Got a nice little pattern down, Pat. Oh no, the zombies. They want me. There we go. Okay, so that's one layer finished. Sorry, I had to drink something. Death is a concept invented by the Jedi. They don't even know how to spell it. Mm-hmm. Well, at any rate. Hmm. 
I don't know that I want to like wrap this around fully or not. Uh, definitely on this bottom lip here I want to. But up here, I don't know, maybe we'll um, make it a type of staircase perhaps. Yeah. Because see, the Citadel from Half-Life 2, gotta, gotta make sure you all know, had a lot of, like, sort of, um, platforms and paths and things of that nature that were all very, like, loose on the outermost edges. And, uh, funny enough, that's how you sneak into the Citadel for the very first time. And, um, like, there are just a bunch of really open-to-the-environment type, you know, areas. There's just nothing stopping you from sneaking on in. The security was so lax, you could literally fit in through the cracks in the, in the walls. And, um, in doing so, that's how you ironically get all the way up to the, uh, head honcho's office. At the very, very end of the game. And so, like, I'm kind of on the, um, on the fence as to how enclosed I want to make it. Which I think this much enclosed is just fine. Oh, yeah, 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 and also, probably should put some sort of staircase up to the next layer, just for fun. For funsies, um, even though I can jump up there, I can jump up that distance easily enough. staircase that leads up to this open area here where you can come and go as you please. And then another side uh, whatchamacallit. Ah, oh, damn it. I didn't want that. There we go. Yeah, I like that. It's not bad. Okay, well, at any rate, I believe that'll do it. We got a lot finished. Made some inroads toward the uh, the next phase of the tower here. Um, the only annoying bit is what I'm going to use to cover this up and, and fill this in. Because there's no way I can leave it all empty like this. Like, I've got to put a covering of some sort in here. I just don't know what material I want to use. Or how much I want to cover in. We'll see. We'll see. A lot of options available. And obviously there's a, um, a copy of this, but flipped going that way. And it'll connect up this to there. And then pretty soon when I got the other wall on this side and then the other two sides on the um, south, yeah, the south side, 
when I've got the other two diagonals on the south side, there will be a full track running all the way around. You'll be able to go around the whole entire upper rim. It'll be so cool, I feel. It'll be nice. It'll be awesome. It'll be blockerific. I don't know. Insert adjective here. That's what it'll be. Okay. Hey, Puff. Welcome. Sorry you're uh, here at this moment in time, because at this moment in time... Wait. There we go. I'd like to thank you all so much for coming out and giving me a moment of your time. I really appreciate it. Thank you all to those who donated especially. And I'd like to ask you all like and uh, subscribe and leave a comment down below for, uh, you know, for posterity's sake. It's fun. Thank you all so much. I love you all. Thank you for, uh, you know, giving me whatever you'll, you're willing to give me. Follow me on all my socials pinned down below. Join our Discord, etc., etc. And I will see you all tomorrow for Freeform Friday. Sorry, the, the weeks... The last two weeks have had some spottiness to them, but, like, we're pretty well getting back into the groove of normalcy now. Um, I've got to work on a short. I've not really, like, done any of that. I put a lot of effort into the Midnight Council video, and that just kind of usurped effort from everything else. But, hey, I'm going to get back to Constantium Chronicles and the shorts and all that stuff. Maybe I might have a short out this week. It might be the early part of next week. We don't know. We'll, I'm just kind of flying by the seat of my pants. That's how I do things. Such is life in the zone. At any rate, take care, guys. Thanks for coming out, and I will see you all later. Bye.